Pickens played a basketball game just a few blocks from the PTI studio last night, and I think I can still smell it. The Billikens scored a record low 20 points in a loss to George Washington, the fewest since the introduction of the shot clock. St. Louis coach Rick Majerus summed it up thusly, quote, sometimes you miss, unquote. Bob, can you offer additional insight? I would have thought that the Billikens had bottomed out when they came to Boston not too, too long ago. We were beaten 61 to 39 by Boston College. They also lost their road game at Kent State 81-40. But who would have ever dreamed that they would score 20 points? Now, here's the, here's it's the situation. Horrendous. It's his first year at St. Louis. He's taking over somebody else's team. And he told me the day before the game in Boston that the two best players particularly don't like the way he coaches, and he understands that the change is hard, and that, and that you know he knows it's going to be a difficult year for his team. But I would think that Rick Majerus is mortified to be attached to this ignominious record. They 20 points in a game! 28 shots and made seven. seven. If you're the coach, you call a timeout, and you insist. You run a weave for 25 seconds. You get close enough to the basket right. to make a basket foul. where you get fouled. Look, I got a horse in this race. I pay a tuition to George Washington. <laughs> And George Washington lost to the big of the Bearcats, which is an unspeakably bad loss for George Washington. This is not a game where North Carolina is playing Missouri at Rolla. These are both teams in the eight. This is unbelievable. They have a win over Southern Illinois, who though they're not the level they were last year, is a respectable team. They came to this game with three straight Ws, including over Southern Illinois, Loyola, and IU Wayne, who will be in the tournament. 20 what points. I mean, Rick, come on. Ugh. All right, some good hockey talk now, Tony.